watching um, Real Housewives of Dubai. Last night um, I had my food. I, I sent my Buddha guy to get me food. He brought me um, some masala fries um, and really ziki. I keep this cut. So that's what I had Jana for dinner with some sausages because well I didn't have like a variety to choose from. So I was like, eh, if you can get me bajir, that's cool. If they don't have bajir, then I'll take masala fries. The masala fries were actually not bad. So, yeah. I need to clean this TV at the back because it's full of dust. Thanks to, of course, you know the situation with the ceiling. And not just that, it's like cobwebs. Um, one of the biggest issues I had with having an like, open ceiling was cobwebs like cobwebs were an actual menace i'm so happy to be done with that now so yay me like the final final days okay ziggy ziggy is complaining because we closed up the roof access he was using so every time he goes there the place he used to jump through to get to the ceiling it's closed off so he's been complaining. Complaining. So just be. Is what it's all about. Don't take it. Take it. Just don't take it. Don't take it personal. I ain't lying. I ain't hiding. I've been grinding. Multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in, yeah. You got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me, cause baby, I'm on high I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. Mm -hmm. I'm on hiatus. Uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out. What you've been seeing me do is me trying to figure out if I can turn this mirror into a coffee table that will serve us for now or maybe for the future okay so that's what I was doing um, this mirror is one of the two black mirrors that I had and we were using it here at the beginning of the year while we were shooting we we're shooting a film here and it fell um, I think guys were moving lights or something it fell and the the plastic encasing frame broke. So initially I was gonna use it in the bathroom. That was my plan. And then right now I was like, what if I actually turn it into a coffee table? Cause I do have another mirror. But then I was like, cause also the bathroom, the mirror I wanted in the bathroom was, I wanted to be like a circular, a mix of a circular and um, triangular mirror. Like the one that looks like, a, like an arch. It's like flat and then an arch that's the kind of mirror I think I want in the bathroom but I was like um, we can also just use what I have and in this case was this mirror which I've actually never been tested in the bathroom give me a sec let me see what it would look like if I actually put it in there sometimes it's nice to see this thing bad. it's not bad but also I'm um, seeing the circular mirror next to our circular sink i'm like yeah i think my other idea is better so i'm using this um metal frames that used to be 
for the bedside tables because we are reusing and repurposing things a lot. So that's what I want to use as the base. I'm using two of them. Um, initially, I was like, I've, I've really been trying to think of what to do with them. I was like, okay, maybe they can be part of the side tables in the guest room or something like that. But I've also, this is the second time I have tried to use them to come up with an idea on how they would work as part of the this part. Okay. So this looks cool. Another idea I have is one stays down flat like that and then the other one is up like this. That was the other thought. The other thought was also having them like one face away, one face inwards and then have this as the leg. But I'm actually still okay with the way with this. I would like the two whatever's to mirror each other because we also have a mirror on top and also when moving it we can hold the sides of it because um, it has it was it's gonna have a bit of the metal exposed so I want to paint them and I don't want to paint them black <laughs> as much as you know me I love my metals black and everything but also um, I'm thinking of going yellow because colorful because we have a bit of yellow and blue and gray over here I'm like we can also have yellow on this and then I want to do this I, I want to keep the foam because the foam is just basically like a protective measure but I'm thinking of painting it black so the base is black the other thought I had was instead of painting it I, I put our you remember that um, the contact paper we have that was the other thought I had but then I was like nah I think I would want to paint it black that way we have black and yellow over here um, and see how that works so that's the that's exactly what's happening right now so I guess in this video as much as we are still cleaning we're continuing to clean we are also doing a DIY yay vlogmas <laughs> also for the sides I want to attach there's this um, it's like tiny jewels they're not really jewels, but like they mimic that kind of stuff. So I want to have this on the side. And also I'm like, ah, it's cool that they almost have like a yellow tint to them. So I had one strip left that was just this length. And it had eight. And by eight, I mean like it's a strip of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've cut it into two strips of three, which is what I want to use. Should I need to use more? Um, I'll just remove from this and attach like I'll cut two then cut two and then attach one using the glue because the, the the one that's left over is two uh, then I can use this to fill up any gaps okay outside and paint them and then um, we have to definitely clean this mirror because yo uh, it's been sitting on a wall somewhere like you're just leaning on a wall in the guest room so we have to clean it and then also paint the foam um the foam is not really oh it's attached in the center because i don't know if i want to paint it when it's just sitting on this because i don't want to have to move move it and i don't want to break it because also i want to paint the side like the rim for this i'm thinking i can just use um uh, acrylic paint it doesn't have to be spray painted or anything and let's see what the back of the mirror the mirror is gray so that's okay i don't i don't mind how do we attach the mirror to this? That's what I was actually looking at. I had bought some, what are these things called? Um, they're not in here. So where are they? I had bought, like when I bought the ones we used for the glass over there, I also bought like other different designs. Um, so, oh well, oh, ah. Um, so oh, right now the big question is where are they <laughs> but for now it can just sit on the thingy because um, I don't think like putting I can use hot glue because they had used hot glue to attach this backboard to this just to make it one piece but if it's not moved correctly I think that would definitely one thing would budge and I don't want to break it so um, I have to find those two things because also once I find them, I know if I have the right one, like if I have any that would work here. 
and if not then I come up with a solution on exactly what to do in and out of love never get enough we never seem to get older when things are going right you seem to have the time but when it's hard you just grow cold up we should be good but we keep lighting fires the words you be cause we're scared of the silence we should be good but we keep lighting fires fires around ourselves we should be good but we keep lighting fires so there we go and that looks cute i have to make sure that when it's lifted it's lifted on both sides so the beading Make sure this uh looks cute. Ooh, taking photos of what I'm watching is gonna be fun. As soon as we clear out uh, all the random wires over there and sort the issue out. Okay, this looks cool. I'm gonna style it and clean up over here, then we can now go continue with this. So yay! Acting drunk even though we're so We have no power again, like I told you. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. The words we be cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. Fires found ourselves. It's deja vu. standing right now is basically where the door is okay so you walk in uh, I have a strong feeling we'll be using the left door a lot more because it's going to be a double door and then of course uh, when you have a double door most of the times one there's one that you leave whatever uh, almost all the time then there's the one that you often use so I'm thinking we'll end up using the one on the left the most which means when we enter um, so you're on the fixed door, so we walk around you, there's space over here, uh, there's a sofa in the living room, we come here, um, everything is to one side. So the living room stuff is on this side, this stuff is on that side. So I'm thinking, this table can move over this way, then where we have, because we have, you see I'd, I'd set up the bar thing, the bar thingy comes here. So it's going to be like next to the window because this window is being enlarged uh, by like a foot because we need the window in the living room to fit here and the window in the living room is larger by one foot. So, um, yeah, the other option would be the peninsula is the other way around. But I don't like that idea for one reason pantry and back door that means walking past the seats and then going around um i'd rather have just walking past here and going in so that's that's what's happening right now in my head i'm just trying to visualize the flow and how all this would work out so this is literally covering where the peninsula is but if we move it slightly back but then that means we'll end up having a lot more space on this side so if we center it, it's going to be exactly where the peninsula is. So what I'm going to do is, for now, for now, I think, I'll leave it here. Let me clear out over there, because also, because there's like a lot of space. Because, oh, something interesting happened yesterday. Someone from Airtel called me, and they're like, oh... I'm really I'm uh, trying to sort you out today and all that stuff and I was like eh, it's a little too late because me I'm already look I've already looked at other alternatives I've already made investments elsewhere and then it felt like they were just trying to get me to pay because I usually pay on the 21st or uh, because it's postpaid so with Airtel you pay by the 21st so I didn't pay 
right? Because like I would have to pay to continue whatever in the service. And in this case, we are getting no service. So what are we paying for? So this guy is like, oh, I just really want to get, make sure that you're sorted out today, but you'll have to pay. And I'm like, I don't trust you guys enough to actually pay because I trusted you last month that you were going to sort me out. Because remember, this problem started on October 15th. But on the 21st, because I had gone to the shops, I'd done all that stuff between the 15th and the 21st. And I was being told, oh, you're going to be sorted out within a certain time period. On the 21st, I still paid because I was still giving them a chance to sort me out. And then they didn't. So now he was like, oh, please give us one last chance. I'm like, but I did give you a chance. Last month was the chance. And what happened is I ended up calling, well, this month, because today's the, the last day of November. I was like, I kept calling you guys every two to three days sometimes every single day of the week and you still didn't help me so it's like oh you can trust me it's like i i trust no one i like because i was like you know what when i speak to sorry i feel like i'm bending too much and i don't want to bend so i was telling him how i feel like every time like when i speak to an agent the agent represents the entire company so when i speak to someone who's like oh hang up and call me back on an airtel line i'm like that represents your entire freaking company when i speak to someone and they say um it's like yeah 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 i know that's what they said because like there's that time where i spoke to someone and they're like by end of day today you'll be sorted out uh, and i was like oh cool then the next day i'm calling and it was like 12 and then this other chick is like well you called at two so you have to give it 24 hours and then you can only see complain if after two it's still not working and guess what it was still not working after 2 p.m at 4 p.m it was still not working and so it was like really frustrating having to talk to them and this guy was like oh no no and then you can just monitor and you tell us i'm like i shouldn't have to tell you this stuff i shouldn't have to call because I was like, first of all, I was calling every, like, let's say every two days, like about four to five times a week. How no one thought that was important or how that, like, that, that was affecting me, I don't understand. Because <clears throat> it figured out point is like, I felt like I'd talked to literally every single person in the customer care agency or whatever call center I was calling. I was like, at this point, I feel like I've spoken to everyone here. And... So I was telling this guy this stuff yesterday and he's like, oh yeah, I understand. But you see, for us to be sure that, you know, you've been sorted, you have to pay. And I'm like, for me, the only way I would pay is to be sure that it's working. So being that one I paid for last month and I literally got no service. And if anything, I ended up spending more money um, than I should have because this is a service I've paid for. You're not delivering on your service. So for me to actually... Um, get stuff done i had to go back into my pocket and spend money again and i'm like i'm not willing to spend money on you guys because for me i was like i have no guarantees from your end right because i can easily pay and then it goes back to the whole oh you'll be sorted out by the end of the day oh blah blah, blah. and then i've lost 3700 shillings because that's what happened last month i basically lost that money so I'm trying to get him to understand this and he just keeps going back to, oh, no, no, you know, you have to pay and then we'll see if it's working. And I said, listen, if you all want me to continue being a client, you guys will have to like give me a day or two to test. And then once I'm comfortable with how it's working, then maybe I can pay. You get like, I'm not willing to risk it where I pay because it's very easy for me to just say, okay, I've paid and then... I'm still experiencing speeds of 0 0.03 and 0 0.01. Like, can you imagine? We have no power. I'm actually thinking of just taking my phone to um, a neighbor of mine who has a shop and she has, like, solar to see if she can charge it for me because now I don't know when we're going to be sorted. I've been offline since last night, so I'm unreachable because I am Teja, so... Yeah. Love interrupted by tragedy. Lost in the drought of nightfall. Running in search of the glass on top of this. This one is slightly shorter and also slightly shorter and shorter. Yes than the other one because you remember i told you my thought process was 
take this glass, have it be the island glass over here, okay? The peninsula glass. And then uh, get a new glass for this table. That way it extends a bit, right? So for now I'm trying to test out what this would look like. And then as I was sitting here, I had a thought, okay? Let me tell you my thought. My thought right now is, because remember I was like, I would have to do to, we would have to have something, if I'm doing glass over here, I'd have to have something, because then, you see with the rest, it's like you build the cabinet, it doesn't have a top, because then the granite top comes and covers, right? The slab itself. But here, because the glass is clear, I wanted to do something. And then it just hits me, and I put some, some art under this, so we have like some form of art piece in this, so if, in this case, assume we're using this door, right? Because I'm like, we can use a door, by the way, because it already has the trenches already, right? Because then, also that would mean I wouldn't really have to buy new materials. It's just like, um, fix this up and use it. Then we get to still keep some elements of the old and then make them new. So, imagine in here, we have... This is an art piece, an art piece, and an art piece. So when you're seated here, you're enjoying art. I wish, have you seen those, uh, there's this new, like, tables where they have, like, sand, and then they have, like, a, a stainless steel bowl that, like, you place it in here, and then there's, like, some mechanism where... It just it makes shapes every single time so now i'm imagining doing that and then it's like colored sand no okay not that because that would be cool i have to look into how much they cost because i would need three right because then if we're doing say this door it would have to be three pieces um so you pour the sand you you place the ball and then they just make patterns and then after a while, it just erases that pattern and starts a new one. Like, it's a really, really cool thing. I don't know if it uses electricity or not. Like, I've seen, I saw someone with it on TikTok where they bought it. And it was the source for colors, depending on the new art piece. Like, I have no problem. Like, trust me, I can easily add, like, some lights over here. If, if I can get that. Even if not that, like if I end up doing like an art piece type situation in here, it would be really cool to have lighting. Like it's like a whole, it becomes a whole piece by itself. Does that make sense? Like I think that would be fun. Cleaning, proper painting, and then the artwork. So I have to start thinking about that. Okay, let me go stick in a room because now... Huh? If we're not a you and then on my way back I can pick up my phone and see what's up. All right, everybody's in the house. Ziggy, did you stop crying? Okay, I'm gonna see you later. But right now, let me show you from over here so that you see what the space looks like. So yeah, right now, that's what we are looking like. Uh, this shouldn't be here because it's going to go. That room. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff to still consider. But the fact that we're there is, for me, I'm happy. The fact that those are the things I'm thinking about, at this stage, I'm happy. Because I'm getting tired of construction. I'm ready to be done. <laughs> also, I'm ready to get started on my mom's house. Doesn't have a lot of craziness. Okay, Try bye.